What's up everybody, welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial quick tip. I am Clormo and today I want to show you a little bit about the Note Repeat, which is a MIDI transform tool that came into Logic Pro X 10.1. Actually, it's a little bit older, but I want to go in depth a little bit, even though I want to keep this a short quick tip video. And there's a lot of advantages for the Note Repeat, mainly to create trap hi-hat patterns live as you're playing with the record button but also it's all useful for creating snare rolls and that type of thing you're going to see right away when i show you how it works that you can also use it for other stuff so let's get into logic projects right away i just have here a very basic um uh, kick and snare pattern with some apple loop which yes that's the name of it you can search for it let's just listen to that We're going to listen more to it as I put the uh, the hi-hats here. So I'm going to create a hi-hat trap pattern here down at this track number three with the note repeat. There's two ways that we can access it. You can come here to the toolbar and there's a note repeat, or you can also use a key command. And I think the default is control option return. But you can set it to whatever you want. Just pay attention that you can access it from the toolbar right away. So when you bring here the tool, the, the note repeat, you have three options. You will see, I'll concentrate on the rate, but you can, once you get the hang of that, you will see that the velocity and the gate are easy to follow as well. And first thing, the rate is just going to set the rate right that you're going to repeat a note right now it's set as a one thirty second note so that means that every one thirty second note is going to play whatever i have here so i'm gonna i have my midi keyboard on so i'm gonna just preview for you what that does for the hi-hat which is what i want to add in this track good if i change the rate to 16 note nice and so on and so forth what you want to do though initially is to hit this disclosure triangle and then this whole world opens up which gives it a little bit more life to it so you can still set the rate that you want to play your notes at but you um, can also set this to not only the mod wheel but also to the pitch bend and if you had a keep have a keyboard that's pressure sensitive you can also do that or you can assign to any of the other controllers that you have in your um, MIDI keyboard or MIDI instrument. The modulation wheel is one of the preferred ones, one of the most popular. I think the pitch bend works as well. What that means is that I can also set a min and max rate. And as I go to the mod, through the mod wheel, notice what the rate does. It's going to be changing. So what that lets me do, it's also, if I hit record and I start to put some hi-hats, right? I just keep the key pressed and as I go through the mod wheel I'm gonna add different patterns and variations across the board pay attention here down at the bottom you can also add some of the um, triplets and dots if you come here you can see that they're all here you know the dotted and the triplets so depending on what you choose the rate is gonna change Right, and it's gonna include those guys, right? So the dotted, if I go to the triplets, it's gonna include the triplets. For this example, I'm not gonna do that. And also very important, this key remote down here, if you check that box, what that's gonna let you do, it's, uh, for example, I think this is useful if you bring up the keyboard, the musical typing, you can probably play here the, um, the different notes and then on your MIDI keyboard, uh, set the different rates live. So, for example, if I press C minus one, I will ha I will go down to a, a quarter note rate, and so on and so forth. And we can also access the dots and the triplets. So that's very intuitive. Uh, I'm not gonna show it that way because I think still the mod will will give the example, but just keep in mind that you have that option available and if you want to combine it with the musical typing you can come here and change the rates or play the notes here in your keyboard and then change the rates here on your MIDI keyboard right so I'm gonna close that for now and let's just 
right away make a quick example uh, I'm just gonna set this at 16 notes I'm gonna hit record and let's see what that does And there you go, there you have it. So I tried to put some variation there, you know, and go a little bit more live playing. It wasn't perfect, but I think it gives the idea away. And this in the same manner, I'm just gonna duplicate that track and I'm just gonna create, I'm gonna try to create some, um, some kind of like a drum roll, but, um, so I'm just gonna build some energy. Let's just hit record. I probably blew your ears with that, but you get the idea, right? So you can also use it for like for building those roam rolls or building energy to get to a point or a transition it's very useful because you can you, you can simply just press a note and it's going to repeat it for you and then once you're happy with that you can get those sections and actually save them as apple loops for later use and then you can just mix and match which makes it easier for the workflow in the next video i'm gonna also cover the midi plugin known as the note repeater which is not to be confused with note repeat and you're also going to see there that that not only kind of achieves the same thing that we have done here but also gives you other options that are very useful because you only need like to draw one note and then the note repeater would create a pattern for you and then you can repeat that back and forth merge it later and create all sorts of things all sorts of options but so as usual as a reminder if you like this video and you found value on it please help me reach more people by subscribing to my channel clormo if you want to keep up to date with everything else that i'm doing pay me a visit at clormoindustries.com i'll see you in the next video talking about no repeater peace out people